Hey, Pradeep. Hey, Ron. Good morning. Good morning. Day two at Mali 2020. It is. Exciting day. Thank you for stopping by our, uh, our, our booth here. Thanks for taking time. Of course. I have a few questions. Uh, go for it. Um, at Intersect, yeah. how you balance security and the best customer experience? It's always kind of a balancing act, but how are you dealing with this? It is. It is at the heart of who we are and what we do. We are a financial authentication company. Okay. And as part of that, our mandate is dual. How do you create the best seamless experiences for customers mm -hmm. while playing an important role of detecting and preventing fraud? And we do that by creating a series of products and offerings called context aware authentication. What is context aware authentication? It is basically our approach to breaking and smashing the silos that exist between the various interactions that a customer has with their bank mm -hmm. or with their FI. No longer um, should we look at just the digital banking channels or the payment channels, but how do you bring insights, information and data and signals from all of these different channels together and thereby also take the customer's choice into consideration and present an experience that they would love, but also keeps them safe. Yeah. That's how we're solving this. And everybody talks about best customer experience yeah. means always frictionless. Mm -hmm. Is it also your point or you have a different approach in this? I think the word frictionless could use a bit of finesse. Oh. And, 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 and here's how I think about it. Customers expect the banks to look out for them. They expect it. There's that expectation. But on the other hand, you don't see customers walking around with their hands raised saying, may I please have a little bit of friction? They don't do that. Sure. So what we, we are solving for is that a customer would expect a certain amount of safeguards checks and balances to be in place during their interaction with the bank. Depending on where they are, what they've done before, what they're doing now, how are they doing this, and what their entire system is in terms of their interaction with the bank. And then they would almost welcome, they would anticipate a little bit of friction to keep them safe. So instead of calling it purely frictionless, I might say it is the right amount of friction. Mm -hmm. It's almost anticipated friction, I would say, that a customer would actually welcome. Yeah. I mean, you as a chief product officer have a big job to balance out what is tech, what is what are trends. Yeah. So how are you going to define your roadmap? What are the big topics? Um, I think there's three exciting things going on and we've reserved a lot of our investment uh, firepower towards solving these three things. The first one is, I think the end of passwords is finally near. It's mm. not going to happen overnight, but I think the chasm has been crossed with platform authenticators from Google, Microsoft, and Apple coming up with pass keys. So password, passwordless authentication is going to be mainstream. And so we're uh, leading from the front to make sure that these passwordless workflows are available across the various channels and interactions. So that's number one. The number two is with the advent of FedNow in the US, mm -hmm. which uh, you know, builds on top of the real-time payments in Brazil and India and the UK, there's also going to be real-time fraud. So we're investing a lot in our product uh, roadmap to look at how do you sense and respond to risk and threat signals that are continuously evolving in real time. And the third one is we're also championing the conversion of identity and payments.